Hello students, today in this video I will be talking about one of the name reactions in organic chemistry that is Beckman rearrangement. Beckman rearrangement is an acid catalyzed intramolecular rearrangement of an enzyme to an N substituted amide. An oxyme is a compound which contains the grouping C double bonded NOH which is formed by the reaction between aldehyde or ketone with hydroxyl amine in the presence of acid. Beckman rearrangement is named after the German chemist Ernst Beckman. This is what happens in Beckman rearrangement. An oxime gets converted to an amide in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid or H or PCl5 or any one of the reagents mentioned here. If we use aldehydes or asymmetrical ketones, then there is a possibility of getting two stereoisomers of the oxymes. These are the two stereoisomers of the oxyme formed. Why? Because the starting carbonyl was asymmetrical ketone. In one case, we are getting OH C2R prime. In another case, OH is C2R. This is a mechanism for Beckman rearrangement. Mechanism is the backbone of organic chemistry, but many students are scared of mechanism. To understand mechanism, you just need to have basic concepts like in this case, first is protonation, second dehydration, third one to alkyl shift, then resonance, then nucleophilic attack, deprotonation and ketoenol tautomerism. So let me explain in details. First, oxyme undergoes protonation. The lone pair from oxygen of OH attacks on the proton for, to form a coordinate covalent bond. Now, oxygen is acquiring positive charge because it lost electron in the process of formation of a coordinate covalent bond with the H+. Water is a stable molecule, so the bond between nitrogen and oxygen gets cleaved, releasing water molecule. Nitrogen now becomes positive charge. To neutralize the positive charge, this uh, bond between C R gets broken and falls over here. Now nitrogen lone pair picks up the R plus or in simply we can say that first is dehydration then uh, alkyl shift takes place. Alkyl migration from carbon to nitrogen do occur. Then uh, we can draw two resonating structures. And in the next step, water will attack on this carbon, which is positive charge. A nucleophilic attack takes place from water. And now, oxygen becomes positive charge because it uh, lost electron in the process of formation of coordinate covalent bond with carbon, so it becomes a positive charge. To neutralize the positive charge on oxygen, one hydrogen undergoes deprotonation. And then we get this species, and then you can draw keto in all tautomerism, giving you the amide. And in this reaction, one very important uh, thing you have to remember is that which alkyl group will be migrating because we have two in case of asymmetrical uh, ketone or LDH taken in the formation of oxime. Yeah, which alkyl group will be migrating whether this. R1 or R2. Always remember the alkyl group which is trans to OH in oxide will undergo migration. Beckman rearrangement is mostly applied for ketoxymes. Aldoxymes are less reactive. Cyclic oxymes give lactams, cyclic amides. Cyclohexanone, when it is treated with the hydroxyl amine, it forms cyclohexanoxyme 
then treat with sulfuric acid gives you caprolactam to understand the formation of caprolactam starting from cyclohexanone same concept of mechanism can be applied in the first step the oxime undergoes protonation second dehydration nitrogen now becomes positive charge the bond between carbon carbon gets cleaved and a new bond between carbon and nitrogen is formed then nucleophilic attack takes place deprotonation and then uh, ketoenol tautomerism to give you caprolactam a link for name reaction in the form of pdf is given in the description below please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching please subscribe my channel for latest video updates click on like button below if you have liked this video share this video on social media on facebook whatsapp youtube twitter